So this is a video that you need to watch if you know nothing about matrices. If you've uh, taken my Matrix Algebra for Engineers course or you have some basic knowledge of matrices and, and uh, linear algebra, then you can skip this video. So what is a matrix? So let's talk about, uh, let me write down to a matrix. So a matrix can be, uh, has, uh, can have uh, M rows and N columns, but let me sample you with a two by two matrix. So a two by two matrix we can write as elements, so two rows and two columns. In the first row, I'm going to put A11, one, one, that the subscript is gonna be mean row one, column one, A12, one, row one, column two, and then A21, uh, row two, column one, and A22, two, two, row two, column two. And at the same time, we'll need a uh, B matrix. B11, B12, B21, and B22. Okay, then we need to know how to do uh, arithmetic on these matrices. So if K then is a scalar, which means basically a uh, number, if we multiply a matrix by a scalar, then we just multiply all of the elements of the matrix by the scalar, okay? So that's scalar multiplication of a matrix. Uh, on the other hand, we can add two matrices. So if we add matrix A plus B, uh, we add matrices, they have to be the same size. So here they are two by two. We just add them element by element. So we get A11 plus B11 in row one, column one. We get A12 plus B12 in row one, column two and then A21 plus B21 and A22 plus B22. So matrix addition is simple. Uh, mat uh, scalar multiplication is simple. Uh, it's more complicated. The more complicated operation is matrix multiplication. So let's learn how to multiply two matrices. So if we have um, A times B, okay, this one will be then A11, A12, A21, A22, times B11, B12, B21, B22. Okay, the way that you multiply matrices is you go across a row of the first matrix and down a column of the second matrix. So the first element here would go across the first row of the first matrix of the matrix on the left and down the first column of the matrix on the right and you write A11 B11 plus A12 B21. And that gets the one one element, the uh, row one, column one element, okay? Uh, for matrix multiplication, you have to have the same number of elements as you go across a row and down the column. So the number of elements in the row is equal to the number of columns of that matrix. And the number of elements down a column is equal to the number of rows. It's a little bit tricky. So you need the number of columns of the, the matrix on the left has to equal the number of rows of the matrix on the right. In this course, it's all gonna be square matrices, okay? So you can always multiply a two by two matrix by a two by two matrix, or a three by three matrix by a three by three matrix. Okay, so that's the first element. So the second element, which would be row one, column two, you get by multiplying row one against column two. So that would be A11, B12, 
plus a12 b22. Okay? Then you go down the second row. So you get the second row against the first column would be a21 b11 plus a22 b21. Right? And then finally a21 b12 plus a22 b22. Okay? So that's matrix multiplication. If this is the first time you've seen this, it may seem a little bit strange, right? But it shows up when you're solving a system of equations. So if we have a system of equations here, so let me write system of linear equations. So for instance, I'll write them in some matrix form. So we have um, a11 times x1 plus a12 times x2 equals some right-hand side, b1. So here x1 and x2 are the unknowns. Or we can have a21 um, x1 plus a22 x2 equals b2. So these are two uh, linear equations and uh, two unknowns. x1, x2 are unknowns. The a's are the given coefficients. The b's are the right-hand side. This one, using matrix multiplication, uh, works out into a matrix equation, a11, a12, a21, a22, times the unknown vector x1, x2, equals the right-hand side, b1, b2, okay? So this matrix multiplication would be a 2 by 2 matrix times a uh, 2 by 1 column uh, matrix or column vector, okay? Equals a 2 by 1 column vector. So we can, we can convert systems of linear equations into matrices. Another way of writing that is a matrix A times the unknown x is equal to the right-hand side b, ax equals b. Okay, so this is a quick summary of these objects that are called matrices. They have rows and they have columns. Uh, you can multiply a matrix by a scalar by multiplying every element of that matrix by that scalar. You can add two matrices of the same size by adding them element by element. And you can multiply two matrices provided that the number of columns on the first matrix is equal to the number of rows on the second matrix. Matrix multiplication goes across the rows of the first matrix down the columns of the second matrix. Finally, this, this form of matrix multiplication means you can write a system of linear equations as a matrix equation usually represented as AX equals B. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching this video.